video shows how to utilize the new alarm.com dual path cellular ethernet gateway. The part number is the ADC-NK-200T. It's available for both Verizon and AT&T. So I'm going to show you how to do the pairing and unpairing operations using the buttons on the gateway and then the action device on one of the Z-Wave sensors that is compatible with the ePropertyCare property care system. So first, on the rear, there are three buttons. The first button, button one, is the pairing and unpairing button. The second button will run a communications test. This is really only needed for installers that need to verify that they're on site. And the third button is the power button. So in order to unpower the hub, you need to unplug the, the, the barrel plug, then hold the power button down for about five seconds. When the lights go off, the power is out. That's the only way to unpower the hub. You can't unpower it with the power still connected. So now let's perform a pairing operation. So when, when the device is connected and online, it has a, a white light. If I push the button once, the, you know, the, the link button once, it'll beep and flash green. Now I, I go to my sensor and this is the, the new building 36 water sensor. And once the hub is, is beeping that way, it's ready to pair. So if I push the action button on the sensor, I'll see the little light. I hear a beep and I see the light go back and forth. So now it's, it's synchronizing and pairing the, the two devices. So we'll give it a few seconds. Now the device is paired. So that, that length of time requires the key exchanges to give it a secure connection. These new sensors are S2 certified. So that is a higher degree of con con encryption as well as lower power for the overall communication. So now in a few minutes, this sensor, this water sensor will show up in the, the customer app or in the, the, the dealer gateway. So now let's say we want to delete this device from the same system. So now we hold the button down for five seconds. Until it beeps red. So once it beeps red, then it's in unpairing mode. And note, if I try to repair the same device, it will flash yellow. So it won't let you pair the same device two ways. So now I'm going to unpair it. I press the same button. It beeps and then the light goes solid red for a period of time. That shows that the device successfully unpaired from the system. Now, there are two other ways to pair and unpair devices. One is through the customer app and website. So for ePropertyCare, care, we enable our customers to add new devices under their service plans themselves using the app or website. We have a video that shows how to do that. There's also the ability to do this via, via mobile tech. So if you are an installer or technician for us, you could add and remove devices automatically through the mobile tech app. And that allows you to name the device directly into the system. So that makes it much easier for much easier install experience. If you have any questions, you go to ePropertyCare.com and we'd be happy to answer.